today we're at Disney Springs and we're headed to a very popular restaurant here within Disney Springs. That's right, we're headed to one of the best restaurants here at Disney Springs. It's basically a farm to table restaurant with Southern home cooking. Uh, farm to table fresh sounds good to us. Today we're headed to Homecoming. walk into homecoming it has this really cool sort of rustic feel no it really does and it makes you kind of really think about farm to table kind of cooking here yeah Definitely. it does and then we love the fact too obviously the pattern continues you got the contactless menus which they have right here or we like yeah, we, menu, yeah, which we gives did, us a real menu. good sense of uh, all the ingredients about what we're gonna order. So there's a lot of good things on here, a lot of signature dishes. We're gonna have to look through this, maybe even have some assistance from our waitress and host. So let's see. There's so many cocktails they have here, from like shines on top to like loot whiskeys and different cocktails. Exactly. But we were kind of eyeing this one called Sweet Tea Shine and the Moonshine Margarita. And they actually are on tap, so they can give you a couple samples. So we're trying to go. I mean, look, right look at these nice little samples oh, here. Pretty tea. cool. That's pretty cool. Tea, so if you come here and you want to try one of the shines, you can ask for a sample first and test it out. So. Little teeny tiny. Here we go. Let's try this, this is one. a Sweet Tea Shine. Sweet Tea yeah. Shine. Here we go. Oh, well, that does taste like a. It tastes like a spiked Arizona iced tea. Yes, exactly. <laughs> With lemon. Although, I'm not sure it's as sweet. Not as sweet. Right, not as sweet though. Right. A little, a little strong. Right, yeah, it definitely has a strong, yeah, it's definitely a strong drink. It's got a little it's got punch. the moonshine. I like that one. Now, what about the margarita? Yeah. Oh, this is a moonshine margarita. Moonshine margarita, here we go. Moonshine margarita. They're trying to get us Ooh. drunk, I think, y'all. That is definitely <laughs> a knockout. Okay, so first up, we're trying some moonshine. And we went with the moonshine margarita after testing them both out. Uh, it seemed really good. And they actually have this cool option where you can get this 22 ounce kind of a squeezy bottle here. Check that out, so 22 ounces, and you get $13 refills of this, which is cool. And also free refills of anything non-alcoholic. Yeah, so not bad. keep these, you guys. Yeah, look actually, at that. You have two option sleeves here right now. And this sleeve is like a blue and uh, sort right. of white. And I think there's a pink one from coming. It's really neat, kind of cool. And also, there are a lot of options here on the menu. I'm talking from fried chicken to shrimp and grits to chicken plates to braised pork ribs right. to, oh my gosh, the chopped pork barbecue, right. fried catfish, and more. And yeah. let me tell you, they're pretty much known here from a lot of folks saying things such as, oh my gosh, the fried chicken. So I am ready to dive into this. And I already have an idea of what we're gonna get. Knocking it out the park for sure, we're gonna go with that fried chicken. Absolutely. I mean, if it's fried chicken everywhere on this menu, that means he must be truly known for that fried chicken. I think that's right. And we like fried chicken. That sounds good, Dad. You ready to dive in? I'm ready. Plus a few starters, maybe a little fried okra. Maybe some fried green tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes. We'll see about that. Well, I like the way you think. <laughs> Cheers to another great day and adventure here in Disney Springs. Good food with my amazing husband. And my amazing wife. Oh, cheers. Cheers, I love you. So one thing I want to mention is about reservations. You definitely want to make a reservation here at Homecoming because they are pack a lack back. Yeah they're, they're, yeah, they're super popular here and it's tough to get a reservation. So if you have a trip planned and you want to come here, like Tiny said, make those reservations. Well in advance yes. if you can for sure. And it, you will totally appreciate the fact that we told you that, hopefully, after we try that chicken. <laughs> exactly. So, the food has arrived. And we are so excited to dive into these starters, you guys. And first up, we ordered some fried, it's like okra fries. Yes. Now, now, I can tell you this, I was never a big fan of okra growing up because my mom loved okra and I always thought there was a weird smell that came from okra and it was kind of gooey. But I just know over the years, and as time changed, so has my palate, and I'm looking forward to giving these a shot. And it has actually a special sort of icebox dressing, which is a kind of own in-house ranch-made dressing. And I think the combination is gonna be dynamite. Oh, I I, I'm super excited to try that. And we also got the fried green tomatoes appetizer, which looks amazing. It has ham, has some remulade on there, some uh, local greens. 
Looks really good. This is gonna be awesome. You ready? I am. I yes. think we should start with the okra. Let's, okay. Let's take it back. Let's do let's it. Let's take it back. Bring you it ready? on back. Bring it on back. Here we go. Nice and flaky. I love the I love the dressing. It really yeah. kind of brings a different dynamic to the okra itself, and it just has such a inviting sort of homecoming taste. It, exactly. <laughs> no, it's great. And I gotta say the uh, the fried crust on that is really light. Right. Nice flavor. Just perfect crust. Nice and crunchy. Excellent. All right, so next up, the fried green tomatoes. I like that. Dive on in there. I'm gonna grab one right sure. in the middle. With some of that nice. Uh, Arugula. Oh. Here we go. You ready? Here we go, yeah. Let's do it. Mm. So I love the combination of the fried green tomatoes mm. with that ham and the sauce all together. That's so good. Everything blends really nicely together. You're right. The ham gives it a salty texture. That's good. Right? Mm -hmm. And the arugula, I think it really kind of adds a nice dynamic. Something I would have never thought of putting together as a combination. Salt, sweet, savory. It's great. Pretty nice. That's very good. I like this a lot. Yum, yum. Give me some. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Cheers, babe. Cheers, my love. All right, you guys. Welcome to the main event. We are ready to dive into some fried chicken, you guys. We got all dark meat fried chicken. It comes with mashed potatoes, a cheesy brisket, some gravy, some hot sauce, and mac and cheese. Yeah, it's gonna be amazing. Now, the mac and cheese we got as a separate side. Uh, it looks amazing, though. And this is, a, like Tati said, Art's famous fried chicken. So, I know, and I'm looking ready, forward to it. I'm ready to fill my belly with some art. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready, exactly. Are you ready to rock this? I am ready. Oh my gosh, should we start with a leg? I think we should. Ooh, leg, leg. I guess I'll keep the big plate. We'll take okay, the yeah, one. I'll drive it on over. Ready? You ready, let's do it. Let's see if it's got that nice crunch. First bite. You're ready. Cheers. Cheers. Great fried chicken, guys. Our famous fried chicken lives up to the hype. It's amazing. That first bite was incredible. Loved it. Super juicy chicken. Uh, and the crust on that, the fried crust was so good. Light, just perfect blend. You know, not too salty at all. Very nice. What do you think, man? I agree. I mean, I think the skin was a perfectly thin layer. So when you yep. bit into it, it didn't actually overpower the meat. Yeah, not at but all. But it complemented the meat. It was like juicy. All the way so through. Juicy. I mean, as yeah. I bit into that, I still have some of that goose palace. I know. I thought I, I want to just have some more of this. But boy, that's bite. good. It is good, and I yeah. love the uh, the perfect color. Mm. It's got nice color on that too, I like a golden brown. You know, with different textures in there. But when it first came out, the smell was just yeah. inviting. And yeah. that first bite, it's a home run. Second bite, it's a home run. Home run. Great start. Yeah, that's a great right, start. Yeah. I mean, if that chicken was that good, I can only imagine what this mashed potato looks like. I, I yeah. love that it's served in like these little cast iron skillets. Yeah. It looks really good. And we kind of got it simple, right? You could have had like bacon in there, yeah. some cheese. Yes. We didn't get that because we had, we had the mac and cheese coming already. So. Exactly. So we yeah. showed like more of our gravy. Yeah. And I tried the gravy just a little bit earlier to see. It's got a little kick to it. Yeah, it has a little spicy kick. Alright, I'm gonna try it's the mashed potato. It's got southern food here. It's got the spices going, which is it pretty cool. It definitely yeah. has the southern kick. Here we go. Yeah. Let's see. If it's got the southern kick, this mashed potato is probably gonna be really buttery. So good. I swear it almost has a cheesy vibe to it. Mm -hmm. I'm already in it. It's nice. It's creamy. super creamy. Not buttery too, but not overpowering no. butter. But it's, that's excellent. And it, it does. Do you not taste a little cheesy vibe to it? Yeah, I agree with you. That's amazing. Yeah. You gotta try it with the gravy though. I know. We dump a little bit of that gravy on okay, there. Okay, here we go. 
We're gonna kick this up a notch. It's kind of their own kind of in-house gravy. Yeah. It looks really good. It smells good. Oh, it does. Right, here we go. It's gonna be good. Here we go. Jump in there. Creamy, cheesy. Now this is gonna be a little kicker. It's gonna have spice. Mmm. That gravy, wow. I need more of that gravy, I think. Isn't that great? Yeah, I'm gonna get more Smoky. of that. Smoky. That almost has a bacony uh -oh. vibe. And a spice, mm -hmm. I just got a spice. Woo! I just got a little spice. Now, first thing on the mac and cheese is the presentation. It is very cool in the cast iron skillet. Cheese is kind of pouring like over that. the top of it. Yeah, nice Flipping little. down the sides. Nice little crispy uh, crust. Yeah. It's all kind of nice. Look at those chives on top. I used to love that crispy crust. It was yeah. a kind of mom's yeah. mac and cheese. You'd always go for the crispy crust. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love the little crispy pieces. Everybody, everybody run for the corners. Yes, exactly. Get the crispy pieces. Yeah. We're going to try it. Let's dive in. It looks really creamy. Tastes, yeah, super creamy. Whoa, super fresh. Like, if you really taste the cheese, it just tastes homemade. That's what it is. It tastes oh. like homemade mac and cheese. Like homecoming? It does, absolutely. This is mama's mm. mac and cheese. You know what I like? Yeah. The little breadcrumb crunch. Yeah, very nice. Right? It's like subtle and sprinkled, but you, you taste the crunch. Right. Ooh, and you really, and you really taste too the macaroni in there, like it's thick. You know, yeah, thick. You really taste those in there. Um, it's not all about macaroni. It's not all mushy. It's, it's good. Not tiny elbow. Yeah, it's good. It's good. That's good mac. Mm. Coming at you. Woo! There we go. Just want to let go. Mmm. As always. We try our best to finish off with dessert. That's right. So here we have the shine cake, kind of the signature dessert here. It's a butter cake dipped in some kind of moonshine. So it's butter it, cake it, moonshine. Adults only, guys. Adults only, and a right. little bit of vanilla bean ice cream on the side. Yeah. I think a moonshine glaze too. So. Exactly. Oh my goodness gracious. That's crazy. Here we go. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. A little bit of this. Yeah. A little bit of that. A little bit of this, that. A whole lot of this. And a whole lot right, of that. Here we go. Cheers. That's nice. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That's really spot on delicious. Super moist. Very good. We're going to stumble home after this cake. Oh, yeah. You can taste the moonshine. spike cake, exactly. You can taste that moonshine. Okay, I am stuffed. Oh, I am so stuffed. Yeah, so well, let me ask you. Sure. So what do you think of this place? Well, what did you think? Cooking was a great spot here, great food. Definitely kind of that home style southern farm to table cuisine. Absolutely lives up to the hype. Great spot to come to. Yeah, I completely agree. It felt like being at a back home barbecue, home cooking style food. Really great. Now, I will say it's not a cheap place, yeah. so just come. It's a great experience to have fun. Again, make those reservations early, but we think you'll have just as much fun here at Homecoming as we did. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get up every time we post something new and exciting. Thanks for joining us, World Travelers, and we look forward to seeing y'all in Disney, Disney World. World! I'm ready for a nap. Me too. <laughs> uh.